If you want to model a object with the help of reference image, so first you have to place that reference image in the 3ds Max viewport. Suppose you want to model this railing, so first you have to place this in the front viewport because we see this object from the front side. For placing this reference image, first we have to create a plane and that plane image aspect ratio means height or width ratio should be same according to reference image. If the reference image look like a square, so you have to create a square plane. If your image look like a rectangle, so you have to create that plane in a rectangle shape. So first I create a plane from the front viewport. So I maximize this and then choose plane tool and create a plane that looks similar. By pressing F3 key, you can switch to shaded viewport. Now I exit from the plane tool. So I press right click. Now we have to open material editor by pressing M keyboard shortcut. You can open material editor or you can also open by clicking on this icon. If you click and hold, you can see two icons available here, but I click on the default icon. So I click here by default slate material editor window will open in case if you want to use compact material editor, click on the mode and you can choose compact material editor from here. It looked like this. Here you can see physical material editor and all the parameters related to this physical material available here like base color here you can define color in case if you want to apply map by clicking on this box you can apply map but in case if you want to use this slate material editor window options are same here you can see physical material editor first i click and drag in this area when you load any shader in the view area this window will open and by clicking on this line you can collapse this and click again to expand now i collapse this all the parameter related to this shader available here now we have to click on this box icon that available inside base color then select bitmap lookup or you can also find bitmap in the search bar click on the bitmap or bitmap lookup map name may be different in your 3ds max version so i click on the bitmap lookup or you can also double click and then click on the ok button now i select this railing image and then click on the open button now i zoom out this view area here you can see these parameter related to bitmap and if you click here these parameter related to shader now i move this window little bit left or right so i can see this plane if the plane is selected, you have to click on this icon, assign material to selection. In case this reference image is not visible in viewport, you have to click on this icon, show shaded material on viewport. Now I close this material editor window. After placing this reference image on viewport, now we have to make some changes. First, I place this plane in the center of this grid. So I choose select and move tool and by clicking on these X and Y arrows, I place this in the center. Then press Alt W to minimize for viewport window. From the top viewport, I move this image little bit in the upside. So first I make this viewport as a active viewport by clicking on the scroll wheel and then move little bit in the Y axis. Now I switch to front viewport again by pressing scroll wheel and then maximize by pressing Alt W. Now we have to lock this reference image and lock related options available in the hierarchy icon. When you click here, first option related to pivot and last option related to lock. So click on the link info and here you can see lock related options available here. By clicking on these checkbox, you can lock the movement same as you can also lock the rotation and scaling also. But there is a problem if you click outside to deselect this image, you can see you can select this image, but you are not able to move. So sometimes uh, it create a irritation. If you didn't want to select this image when you click on the image, so you have to use a another option. First, I unlock this image for movement. Then I click on the create button. Now we have to right click on the image, but make sure this image should be selected. When you right click in this area, you can see freeze related option available here. By clicking on this option, you can freeze a selected object, but there is a problem. When you freeze this, you are not able to select. 
and you are not able to see the texture also so first i unfreeze this right click again and there is a option unfreeze all when you click here this plane will unfreeze now now you can select this now we have to make some changes in the object property and object property related option also available on the right click so i right click and choose object properties in the display property area you can see there is a checkbox that by default turn on show frozen in gray so when you freeze any object that look in a gray color if you uncheck this and then freeze again so it will not look in a gray color now i freeze this again so right click and then click on the freeze selection if you click on this image or create a window selection you are not able to select this so with this method you can place a reference image and also freeze that object or lock so it will not move in any direction 